Hey guys, welcome back to another stream. So we're going to be picking up where we left off last time on Thimbleweed Park. Let's see, what all do we get accomplished? Um, we finished up Dolores' flashback. It's all how Uncle Chuck disowned her. Rolled her out the wheel simply because she wanted to be a video game programmer. What's up with that, Uncle Chuck? Let's see, we got to play as... Uh, Ransom the Clan of his flashback. Saw how he was cursed. Because he made fun of the wrong old lady. Yeah. He lost everything in that one night. I mean, kind of deserved it though, but, but still. But still, but still, but still. Let's see, we got the piece of tape, which I know it doesn't sound like much, but we had to get a piece of tape to get the fingerprint off of the uh, supposed murder weapon that we found in the sewer. So we got that at the post office. Uh, also at the post office outside was uh, Willie the Town Drunk. So we talked to him. Now you'll, you'll remember Willie from the uh, beginning of the game uh, when the guy was murdered. Willie was down there by the river. You know, drunk and are drinking. He was talking about he he was glad Chuck died. He hated Chuck. Chuck ruined his life. Let's see. Turns out Willie has a uh, he has a bloody wallet in his possession, but he won't give it up until we get something to replace it. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight, somehow. And over to the right of Willie, well, the right of the post office. Yeah, I think there's like in a little uh, occult shop. Now, I'm guessing that perhaps, just, just perhaps, the person that runs the occult shop might be the same person who cursed Ransom. I mean, just a, just, just a guess, anyway. Let's find out, though. Okay. Oh, uh, here. You got any gluten-free donuts? No. Donuts? You got any ransom swag? No. See, you got any gluten-free donuts? You just asked that, damn it. You got any ransom swag? Just asked that too. Loose change? I got a dime. You got any loose change? I got a dime. I just told you that. You got any uh, second-hand crystals? I Got a trippy mushroom. Loose change? You got any ransom swag? Push it. Looks like they're having a big sale in there. Yeah, it's in a cool shop. Got the, got the eye up here. The all seen eye, I suppose. Looks like the creepy little eyes up there. Yeah, there's the supposed murder weapon, the ice pick. And uh, that's the fingerprint we got off of it. So we do need to go back to the uh, coroner's office and put that into that, what's it called? Fingerprint Tron? So, so, something like that. Yeah, see, a cult book, see? It says, occult books. Oh. I also finally looked at the achievements on Steam for this game. It looks like these specks of dust are actually for like an achievement. There's there's achievements for picking up a certain amount, but there's also an achievement for not picking up any dust at all. Yeah. The future is never written. That looked like the woman that Speaking of speck of dust, man. It's my specks of dust. My speck of dust. The crow blinking. I was gonna say creepy, but not really. No way, I'm touching that. T2, want to look at it? No way, I'm touching. Oh, want to look at it? No way, I'm touching that. I said, look. Hmm.
Well, to spoiler alert, you die. Not getting any closer to that. Uh, walk to 1001 graveyards before you. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. 20 richness spells by 50 C. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Fine. Six trophy, nine big toes, the guide. 1001 dates for the apocalypse. On that one. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. A guide to pink magic. What's that? Wait, where were Wait, so many books in this game. Or at least book titles. A guide to vegan voodoo. <laughs> uh, yeah, pink magic. Insult sword fighter. Yes. Ah. A guide to divination. But you already knew that. I didn't. Did? Cursed ladder. It's on cursed wheels. <laughs> oh, so many. Look at that. Nineteen eighty seven Cauldron Digest. Nineteen seventy World's End. Seriously, it's coming. A P Hill. Nineteen sixty nine How the World Will Really, Really End. And seventy World's End. Seriously, it's coming. And sixty seven. Okay, so it looks like he's starting 67. 50 ways to leave your dimension, 50 uses, 50, 50, 50 shrouds of gray, <laughs> 50 shades of voodoo, shades of transparency, shades of shade. <laughs> Fifty shades of Elaine Marley. <laughs> I mean, you had to expect little throwbacks to the uh, Monkey Island games. Oh. Food or recipes to guide your ship. The 404 button I found. Seven habits of highly infected people. Seventy-seven uses for umbilical cords. Well, I'm sure one of them's like a use it as a belt. You'll be the talk of the town. The bell of the wall. Some over here too. Survivor's Guide to Rotten Food. Okay. Cursed Eye Drops. Ugh, smells awful. It's a package of tea. Cursed tea, though. It's a bottle of eye drops. Cursed eye drops. We stole it. Stole that, too. It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic Special Drops. The label says, restores your vision with a soothing river of tears. Side effects may invoke painful memories. The label says Hao Ling King Yao Tea, a magical tea, gives you the gift of speaking many languages. Oh, creepy. Oh, creepy. Huh? Wait. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same one that uh, put that curse on Ransom the Clown. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or... Or, uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Fascinating. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Here you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. There you go. Did you hex Ransom the Clown? Did you hex Ransom the Clown? I'm very proud ah, of that curse. See? Yes, sir. He was being a jerk and yep. he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Oh yeah. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bat, Agent Reyes? No, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Well, I mean, she, she cursed Ransom for what, not be able to take his makeup off? Because you see there at the end of his flashback, he's, he's trying to get it off, but it just won't come off. And oh, he goes on such a, such a, such a rampage. All that, all that beeping and all, all the F-bombs and all. Oh. Tell me about yourself, Madame Morina. There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it was a serious spiritual practice. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls, <laughs> and with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm gonna retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. Uh, I like tripping balls. Why did you set up shop here? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy, which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an agaricus fungus visionum delectamentum mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... <laughs> ah, good. Where'd he have that thing? I have your mushrooms. Sweet. Hand it over and we'll see what answers the Void offers today. Oh, she gonna be tripping balls. What did you see? That's what Unless she loves, the killer though. was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. What? But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. I feel I've been had. Good Goodbye. Bye. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. How can I help? Goodbye. See ya. It's on cursed wheels. Move this, maybe. Oh. Oh. No, we, no, we need to. Uh. Oh, maybe. 
That's as far to the left that it moves. You push. I'll have to push it to move it to the right. Oh, pull. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. Let's try to go back. Up. Up. That's a ton of book titles. Damn. Ah, not over here, though. Introduction to Chaos Magic. The fair to dismember. <laughs> Enough. Introduction to Bohemian Grove. Are you my elder god? <laughs> Walk to. Are you really going to read all these titles? I'm sure you want to win. Are you there, God? It's me, Satan. Are you there, Satan? It's Alistair. Are you there, Satan? It's me, Guybrush. Cookie recipes, uh, gender skill types of witchcraft. Jeff, the talking mongoose. Gateway, the dinosaur time. <laughs> Garlic salesman's got to translate. They probably did good business there. If they survive. Good lord. Uh, this, this place is definitely bigger on the inside. Uh, oh! And... Let's see. What is it? Which is going what? Craft lower KC, upper KC, or the low craft beginners get. Ah, like to brought the Nikto. I'm sure, you got the words right. Kill Lichuk by GT. A power like rum, Gilbert, by Gary's Fox and a Ferrari. Winnie the Boo. Winrar, business plan. Wish theory, asking for more wishes. The Witcher Nanny. Witchcraft 2. Witchcraft for dummies. Witchcrafter's Guide to the Galaxy. Witch Dr. Seuss's Sleep Book. Who's eating Gilbert Grape? You gonna call it a ring? Why zombie? Black zombie.
back there. <laughs> she was no help whatsoever. No help, no help. Well, more likely if we were playing on like the, uh, the harder difficulty, well, there'd probably be more to it. You got any loose change? Ah! like the only map we found. We got a Copytron here. Let's see, is it a phone? It's a color Copytron 3000. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so it's my speck of dust. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Oh, let's see. Um, attention, all units. Ryan, a leaf blower dropped the elm with an illegal ostrich form. Smiling for no reason. Four flat tires. Swinging an unlicensed pitchfork. Um, Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call from the sheriff's office about a woman in town doing nothing suspicious. A woman in town doing nothing suspicious. Hmm. Attention all units. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to... Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call from the sheriff's office about a woman in town doing nothing suspicious. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Attention, all units. Hmm? It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Okay, Don't it's... you touch my map. That means we do touch the map, right? Get the map. It's a map of the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. Right. It's a map of the Tri Thimbleweed right. Park County area. What a nice copy. And in color, too. Very abstract. Not a great use of color. Though it's a map of the county. This should help me find my way around. Okay, um... It's a map of the county. This should help me find my way around. I didn't know if we put put it back or... What about this? Kiev? Nope. Not that. Hmm. 
It's a map of the county. This should help me find my way around. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, so she was waiting for a call from the sheriff's department for her. There's a lady in town doing nothing suspicious. What's less suspicious than reading a book? Let's see him. Thank you. So now we should be able to leave. Because we got a map now. Wait. Go back over here real fast. I just want to put that fingerprint to the system. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Yeah. Build. Be here. Yep, 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 yep. This one. Use that. Yeah. Hey, what the? Somebody there. Yeah, imagine things maybe. Oh. Evening. Let's give her a mouth. Whatever. Well, you just beat out me. I just let you walk around aimlessly. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Circus. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. No, well, I have an official map right here. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. I have an official map right here. No, oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks legit, Reno. Hmm. Odd. Hmm. I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie pal. Part 3. The Arrest. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. See, we need to identify the body. We need to... So is that the hotel right here, maybe? We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? So it's probably the, uh, let's play the bloody wallet that Willie has. We need to identify the body using the face eh, tron with eh, a photo of the body eh, in eh, order. Eh. We need a fingerprint match using the finger tron with a fingerprint from the murder weapon and an official fingerprint book. We need a blood match, using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. 
He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. <sighs> oh, oh. Get crack lagging. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Oh, wait, can we? Run, run, come on. Something real fast. Um, all right. Um, okay, then. Got the match. Sounds like it. Ah, this is a fingerprint report I've been waiting for. Finger count report. B -b 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 -b. Let's see, input, official fingerprint ID book, uh, input murder weapon fingerprint output. The fingerprint on the weapon belongs to Willie T. Wino. Accuracy 100%, error rate 0%. Belongs to Willy. Guess they hydrate it. Um, the fingerprint on the weapon, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's Willie's guilty. You know, it could have been something he just picked up like he picked up the bloody wallet. Alright, um... Okay, it's down here. Bridge. Look at the bridge. Oh, what's that? Okay. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there we go. Circus is here. Okay. Cemetery. Uh, the hotel. The abandoned factory. The, man the Edmund Mansion Mansion. The hotel. We have the uh, key card for one of the rooms. Got off the body. Let's see. Impressive. You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. 
Flashback. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. It's a pillow bear prototype. Turn the plush bear inside out and you get a plush pillow. Chuck will be green with envy when he sees how great this pillow bear is. Classic pillow bear color. These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> kids will love the orange pillow bear. These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah, maybe the next Garbage Pill Kids. I hate blue. Let's hope I never go blue in the face. These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. Don't tell Chuck, but pink is my favorite color. These pillow bear pro. It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. I only have the original. I need a copy to give to the investors. Got to-do list. Uh, disguise appearance, check in the hotel room, get duplicate of prospectus. This is Franklin, right? Uh, I think he's uh, Dolores' dad, right? There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. I don't want to pick that up. But you just said it's a waste of money. I have no idea what they're doing. What are they doing? Hmm. There's a moose. The hills? I don't. Hmm. It looks better from this side. Nothing. Oh yeah, there's also an achievement uh, for going through. The numbers on all the phone books. Listen to all those voicemails. <laughs> it's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. Hotel Tron. Got a Tron for everything. Slash corner? I'm not thirsty. It's been lipstick to death. Pick it up. I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Yeah, you A bell for calling the sheriff. I mean, hotel yeah. manager. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? <laughs> so this one, the whole time there, he says, Abu! Do you have photocopy in here? But of course we do, Abu. What would you like to photocopy? Abu. This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. One task done. Now I should check into a... Yay! Hello, Mr. Edmund. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? You, Abu. I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye! I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. This must be making that terrible noise. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me.
Hey, dude, what's your damage? Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, barf me out. <laughs> All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. Hmm. Your shoes are not the latest and greatest. What's your damage? Of course! They're totally awesome! Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Your jacket is not the latest and greatest. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm so sure. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. <laughs> sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because bodacious. I can talk like you and... Uh, let's see, uh... I got a fly homie who... <laughs> I know some peeps who... I got a groovy friend who... Uh, pip, 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 pip. I know this gnarly dude. I know this gnarly dude who. Oh God, did I choose that? Was on MTV and. Was on MTV and. Tells me what's sweet. OMG, YOLO. Hashtag trust me. <laughs> Tells me what's the caspage. The bee's knees. Tells me what's wicked and will gag me with a spoon. Tells me what's hip, Daddy O. Uh, oh God. I don't. I don't think would be. I don't think it's that one though. I mean that. The whole tells me what's hip, Daddy O. And the bee's knees and the Casper Jones, they sound too old. Uh. OMG YOLO that that especially hashtag that sounds too new. So uh try this one. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! <laughs> I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, God. I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock up. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Want this bear? Guess he can't hear me. This must be making that terrible noise. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous, big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick! Who? What do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your. Um, I think the glass is probably the best because he's looking for disguise, right? And that's the whole glasses, nose, fake nose, and fake mustache. I mean, he's got like a mustache, though, but it's like a little pencil thin mustache. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses, no faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. <laughs> no, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. 
Quick, before anyone notices I have them! First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! Oh, go. Okay. It's gross, pre-chewed gum. Yeah. If I'm not careful, it will stick everything in my inventory together. A disguise to make my forgettable face even more invisible. The hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's spies. I'd better not change into my disguise while he's near. What up here? Um... Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Oh. Not tell who that is. I no, can't can't tell him all. Nope. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Timberweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Emilio Estevez. <laughs> oh, Franklin. Uh, Frank Zappa? George Michael. Robert Palmer. Let's go with you're Emilio Estevez. Brother to Charlie Sheen. Emilio Estevez. Of course, Mr. Estevez. We have a lovely suite of boo for you on the 11th floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Abu? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Estevez. Oh, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Abu. Okay, so we got room 1105. Wait, how much? Hmm? It's an unplugged TV. Yes, sir. I don't want to pick that up. You got big pockets? Oh. Someone must have left it here. It's not plugged in, and I can't see anywhere to plug it in. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. Let's call... Cole Ross. 8256. This is Cole. You missed me. Uh, leave one after the beep, and be sure to watch out for fireballs. Let's see. Later, let's call... Case Gump Radio 7286. Thank you for calling KSCUM. 
This is a recording. We're not taking requests now. Tune in at 198.7 for up to the minute hostile takeover information. Oh. It's turned off. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. I can't push that. It's now showing I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. Rich and the soapy. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. All the rooms are the same. An ashtray for the smokers. Oh no, I keep expecting a jump scare. See you later. Dumb. I live for when it will be a lot of live for. Oh, yeah. It. yeah, there we go. It's locked. Camera. Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. Disable surveillance camera, call investors when ready. I like to think the phone call asked him, Do you eat meatloaf? And he said yes, but only on Tuesdays. Why Tuesdays? Oh, Tuesday's best day to eat meatloaf. Don't like meatloaf? Well, you're a monster. The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. Okay, well. This channel is just static. I should find it's now showing I love my cat. Another landscape? I'd rather look out the window. That looks like a... Really, my, my calf from hell, maybe? Okay, it looks like it's gouging the poor person's eye out. That looks like. Ah. It's some blank hotel stationery. Pick that up. 
It's a mostly blank piece of paper with the hotel's letterhead. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. Oh, Kelly. That work? Hmm, that's not right. It's gone blank. There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel tron. There we go, sir, Abu. Huh, some blank paper got stuck here accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose, Abu, of this for you. No need to say thank you, we're here to help. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you happy now? I've done everything you asked. You can know what the do. doors are closed. Open it. Go back to ten. It's a photo of a clean standard hotel. It's locked. Oh, Come on. Well, this key card doesn't open this particular room. Wait, where are we? Why come back? Brr. Thinking five for some reason. Or eight. Yeah, eight. Should work. Because it's a follow the standard room folder. Well, standard room folder. And all the rooms look the same. So. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. The pirate. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. All investors. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. Hmm. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well, but you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? What's new in the news? But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? 
That man checked in under the name Emilio Estevez, so it may not have been Chuck's brother. What room did the man with the large nose check into? It was a room on the 11th floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters, so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're still working on it. Have there been any obstruction arenas to your investigation? What do you think? <laughs> Enough said. What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. I don't give them much credence. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Sure, sure, sure. All right, let's see. Find ID for victim. Okay, we're at the hotel here. Oh, you get face trauma report, can't do it yet. I have suspicious item of blood on it. Oh, we got the ice pick. We were just back at the, uh, the coroner's office. Probably could have used that in the uh, blood trauma. But didn't. Right. I go to Dolores, have to ransom the clown, find out what happened to Franklin. Oh, well, let's go do that. This we can now sort of fast travel. Should be able to use uh, this. What's that? Better not. What? Might remove the prints. Okay. Let's go. Oh, son of a. So shouldn't they, if it's the murder weapon, shouldn't they have blood on it though? Well, I guess we just have to get the um, the, uh, the, 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 the the bloody wallet. Yeah. Come on. Hey, wait. Look at us. Look at us. Pick it up. Okay, let's see. 1204. Hmm. It looks better from this side. Still here. <laughs> Gotta drink from all the water fountains, dang it. Ah. Oh, another one. Photos of the construction of the hotel and past employees. It's been lipsticked to death. I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel aboo in the tri thimbleweed Park County. How may I be a boo of service? You look awfully familiar. Have we met before? You know what happened to Franklin Edmund? I want to check out your beautiful lobby. You look awfully familiar. Have we met before? I don't believe a boo so. <laughs> well, there you go. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, a boo. 
Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not a boo. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh, I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an odd arena coincidence. Ah. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Emilio Estevez. Yes. He checked into a room, Abu, on the 11th floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Freaking dust. All right, so let's see. 1105 for Mr. Emilio Westabiz. Let's go to room 1204 first, though. Up, 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 up. We'll see. So you want room four? What the? Who's the fairest of them all? Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. Let's call. Sam Miller, 8569. Hi, this is Sam. I'm currently trapped inside my mobile phone, but leave me a message and it'll keep me company until I manage to break out and ring you back. Bye. Poor Sam. Poor, poor Sam. Huh, it's a passport. Okay. Chuck's reach extends everywhere in this town, even from his grave. Don't see any specks of dust in here. In case of emergency, do not sue Chuck Edmund. The label says Pillow Bear. I wonder how it got here. Huh. The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. Oh, that's the same stuff that Franklin said. Oh. Hmm, looks like the other painting. So we want to go... It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. That's 11.05. Got the got everything here though, right? No specks of dust. Specks of dust.
Why couldn't they? What was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? I'm dead? Hmm. Well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. About time you joined us in the land of the almost dead. Who are you? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost, you're going to scare at least one person who tries to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay, everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? By the way, your brother died. Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. Got a to-do list. Even in near death. Hopeless things I need to do. Gotta to talk to the Lords. Visit Chuck's tomb to get the closure. Scare one person at drinking fountain. Escape to the afterlife. Oh God! Well, Ooh. zap, chill. Oh. Get talk to splash. splash. Maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into. Blow on. <laughs> I'll never get to finish that delicious sandwich. Oh. Ooh. Chuck was always better than me. Chuck was always better than me. Ah, Chuck was a dick. That tickles. Also surprisingly easy. Let's see. Blow on. Uh. Hmm. No. Oh. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Oh, you barely see him. I like it. Hello. Okay, I'll see. Um. Oh, the fountain's on the first floor. An electrical elevator button. Maybe I've got some useful special power I can use here. job scaring someone in the lobby instead of talking to me you don't want to make Xavier mad maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into oh. zip zip The effect would be better if someone was using it. What's the... the effect would be better if someone was using it. What? The effect would be better if someone was. Just the drinking Abu fountain. 
As long as it's not something serious, Abu, then I won't have to call our plumbers. Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, get over here now. Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost, average first scares. You keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. This is outrageously unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? All right, all right. Sorry about him. We don't know who put him in charge. Okay, scared one person. Let's see, can we... Can we scare him? That curiosity. is going on what's going on here abu the drinking fountain it's um oh it's just the fountain abu again it still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers abu let's see some um... let's see uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. what about chill Oh, what's that again? Take a deep breath and think calm thoughts. Okay. Doesn't use electricity. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Got the spigot dust that was out here. Here real fast. Run, run, run. Here we go. Let's see. Um, get a it's a German passport for Boris Schultz. passport. Photo identification by the suspicious German businessman, Boris Schultz. Accuracy 100%. Oh, yeah. Let's 
Tickets, 25 cents. It looks like a circus clown horn. Oh. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. Keep your panties on, I'm coming! Oh, God. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. A pizza delivery for Ransom the Clown. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Never seen a man wearing makeup before? <laughs> Look, face, you better start talking or get out of here. I don't need another chlorophobic wet pissing his pants on my doorstep. Let me start again. Jeez, kid, what the is wrong with you? Sorry, sir. I don't know what's come over me. Jeez, kid, what the is wrong with you? Let me just turn around for a moment. Ah, that's a bit better. I'm sorry about that. I guess I never did get over what happened at my 10th birthday. Whatever, bozo. Does this mean you're gonna have your back to me the whole time? We'll see how it goes. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, and the town folk leave me the f*** alone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my ex-wife took me for everything I had. We heard you don't get along with the locals? Given my creepy clown face and Paul Chant for abusive name-calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small-town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. <laughs> what do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would've been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could've been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, pencil neck. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. So we got uh, Reyes, Ray, Ransom, Franklin. What's he doing? Just standing there. What's she doing? Still just standing there. It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. 
I hope to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. Let's see, uh, but, uh, <laughs> get everyone in town to hate me. Let's check out the list. Yeah. Be a little beeper. Gotta remove makeup again. Like 18 more specs of <gasps> P.S. I hate my life and go up yourself if you found the snow in the reading net. My official ransom the clown underwear. Haven't had time to wash them yet. Always time to do laundry later. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. I miss my housekeeper. Mori cheese. Another Mori cheese. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. Hamster? It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Looks very hungry. Lil Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. Lil Beeper is lactose intolerant. If I give him cheese, then the whole trailer smells like farts. That's just my eviction notice from five years ago. Every time that sheriff tries to kick me out, I give him hell, and he's afraid to come back. It's a stack of eviction notices. <laughs> like that sheriff is really gonna drag me to court. I scare the crap out of him. Well, what was the safe behind here? My old circus poster featured the amazing... It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. Who'd want to steal it? It's a page from my joke book. It's a page from my joke book. All right. It's the final missing page from my joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck back into the... It's my joke book in perfect condition. If you don't mind hamster crap. Oh, of course not. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the cares? Tried. Well, tried. 18 more specks of dust. Oh. Starting food. Trophies. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? I can't pull that. I can't push that. It's nowhere near my bedtime. I don't want to pick that up. I can't open that. T -t 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 hmm. It's my old trampoline. 
Brings back memories. I need to be higher to jump on it. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. <laughs> The swear it's door. my empty rants of the clouds. There's nothing inside but a couple of pennies. Pick this. Seventeen more now. It's, it's a box with a crank on it. There's an inch thick layer of dust on it. It's my tube of Coslerick's patented anti itch medicine. Works wonders. It's my speck of dust. Alright guys, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh get something to eat, something to drink. We'll be right back.
Where? We're back then. Let's see. Got everything in here. Oh, don't you get it off. Still doesn't work. <laughs> Well, at least I tried. Oh, pick it us. Looks like he can just jump off the stage, right? All that popcorn. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. Oh, popcorn bag. To use it's that. an empty popcorn bag. Yes. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. Well, that's one. Little Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can count. Almost half full. Oh. It's a full bag of popcorn. Leave it there then. Gotta pick up all the popcorn. Even though we got a full bag of popcorn already. Enjoy your crap. It's my specks of dust. All right. There's nothing that week. I'm over my chlorophobia. Like I care. I'll do what I can to help you find the killer. But don't get the wrong idea. I'm only helping you so you don't pin this on me. Just to make some agency arrest quota. The agency doesn't have a quota. We're only interested in the truth. Yeah, well, the truth is the clown didn't do it. Chuck. That's no way to speak of the recently departed. He was a rich that didn't give a about anyone but himself. Sounds familiar. Oh, off, or I'm not gonna help you find the killer. Ever seen a clown naked? <laughs> you better shut up, or I'll arrest you for indecency. Does an Agent Ray ever get on your nerves? If you're trying to play psychological games on me, don't waste your time. I thought you had that clown phobia thing. Uh, you're not a very good clown. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> hurt. <laughs> off. I'm bored now. <laughs> oh, well, let's, um... I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. What the f you can't carry this? 
It's a map. Come on, dude. Cheech. What brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? You tabloid hack! <laughs> Why the f are you so interested in my story? I think it would make a great human interest piece. People love stories about washed up former celebrities. Not to mention it gives you a chance to get back in the limelight. Okay, let's do the f interview. You won't regret this. I f doubt it. So, Ransom, a few years ago, you seemed to be at the top of your game with a successful career. Then out of nowhere, you publicly crashed and burned, your former life suddenly a flaming wreckage. Tell our readers in your own words why your career hit the skids. <laughs> it's because political correctness has gone mad people are too sensitive now i have freedom of speech and if they don't like it they can leave uh which they did a question i would love for you to answer is why don't you take off your makeup are you just a committed performer or a performer who needs to be committed the God. honestly i can't take the stuff off it's not so much as a choice as it is a horrible curse. Thanks to Madame Marina, you could take a belt sander to my face and the skin would grow back with the makeup intact. Huh. Not the answer I was expecting. Let's talk about happier times now. Tell me about one of the highlights of your career. <laughs> my natural appearance. Having enough money to do whatever the f I wanted. Having enough money to eat caviar out of a supermodel's belly button while Yo Yo Ma serenaded me on my own jet flying <laughs> to a private island in the Bahamas. Having enough money that my coke habit made oh, Scarface wow. look like a casual user. Lovely. Moving on. I heard rumors around town that you were planning to get a line of ransom dolls made. What happened there? Oh, the only little ransom I care about is in my pants. Fucking Chuck happened. That Chuck happened. The arrogant thought my dolls were beneath him. The man had no vision. He was still clinging to his dead pillow dream. Bad mouthing Chuck Edmund is certainly one way to get yourself attention, Ransom. Seems you have little to keep you here in Thimbleweed. Why did you stay? I had nowhere else to go. At first, I couldn't afford to leave because my wife froze my assets, and all I had was my trailer. Then I stayed to try and get the clown dolls deal off the ground. But I think now I'm here because, like some malignant tumor, this town grew on me, metastasized. And so I've accepted it's permanent. That's sort of sweet and disgusting, I think. So, Ransom, any big regrets? If you could go back, would you do things differently? Let's see. I wouldn't talk to you. Uh, I wouldn't trust any wrong people. I got regrets just like anyone else. I regret damn near everything. I regret damn near everything. I was a who burned bridges with everyone around me. Didn't appreciate anything I had when I had it, and I deserve everything I get now. I would do a lot of things differently, but I can't turn back the clock. All I can do is move forward and try to be better. Well, that was refreshingly honest, Ransom. Finally, Ransom, do you have any big plans for the future? God, plan you come back to my trailer. Uh, I 
I'm not sure, but it'll probably involve a lot of groveling. I want to be a better person, but I'm stubborn and old, and I don't know if I can change. I'm an arrogant but maybe if I make amends and start over, it'll at least be something. I guess only time will tell. Well, thank you for such a candid response. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. I'll let you know when the finished piece goes to print. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> all right then. Um... Thimbleweed Nickel. Established 19... I guess there's nothing else to do with here. These must contain journalistic gold or old classified. Hey, buy me a drink? No. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. <laughs> you, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the mail <laughs> that's very disrespectful to the united states government mail handling officials ransom get bent want some more postal humor delivery dweeb what's the best thing about being a postman uh, serving your country wrong the answer is nothing because your job is dog oh, count to ten georgie go to your happy place i got another joke parcel porker what do your wife and the average post office customer have in common? Ransom, you are treading on <laughs> wafer thin ice, bucko! You've never satisfied either one of them. No. Ransom, I suggest you leave for a while. Hmm? I would hate for you to become another statistic. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Whatever, postal nerd. What can I do for you, Chuckles? And he forgot about it. Got any more of those awful jokes? Oh, I got some doozies for you. Did you hear the one about the unstamped letter? <laughs> no, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Lay another bad joke on me, face. Okay, you'll love this one. Why can't you mail a boomerang? Huh. I guess I already told you that one. Give me another crappy joke, letter dork. This one is my favorite. I don't know if I can get through it without laughing. <laughs> Why did the post office clerk get called into the manager's office? <laughs> no, because... <laughs> because... Because they filled out section 4E, appendix B of form 2265 instead of section 4B, appendix E of form 2625! <laughs> That's not even a joke, you glorified letter jockey. <laughs> Seriously, George, get some help. How do you not go postal working at this hole? Hey! We don't use that sort of terminology around here. What are you gonna do about it? Shoot me? Job-related stress is no laughing matter for us high-level government agents. You think mailmen are high-level government agents? Definitely. I'd say this job is the most prestigious government position of them all. You do realize you're basically a pizza delivery man. Except worse, you never bring any pizza. Well, that just shows what you know. Why are mailmen so great, then? The whole world would fall into chaos without me and my boys in blue. The feds wouldn't get their intel, people wouldn't get their paychecks or bills. The economy would fall into chaos, people would starve. 
I hold people's lives in my hands every day. Mailmen are the god Hermes, incarnate. Ransom. Huh? Don't you see? You're nuts, George. <laughs> God, puzzle nerd. See you, ransom. Their box is waiting to be shipped or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. What can I do for you, Chuckles? God, puzzle nerd. See you, ransom. Have you seen my dime? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like <laughs> Oh god. Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line because it's too easy. But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah, with your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. <laughs> You're one to talk. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor to gotta look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an. You got any loose change? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce hard. Well, you look like so. You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? <laughs> I, I I don't talk about that. Well, I hated the too. Really? Yeah, that arrogant snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milk toast little of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls, because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn. And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me. Uh. You. You got any gluten-free donuts? You. Well, you. So. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, buy me a drink. Come back here in a minute. I need to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Okay, it's well warrant. What to do with this though? Uh, too big to pick it's up. It's too heavy. Not food. Here's eviction notice, court summons, and the hit line. Pause. The voodoo lady. Have you she's seen my dime? And she's the one. No curse way, me. am I going in there? Okay, guess she what? She's a crazy, a vengeful witch. I guess we won't be doing that thing. <laughs> okay yeah, then. Buy well, me a uh, drink. Let's go.
Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Dude, can you score me some more of that clown blend? <laughs> I don't think so, kid. I need to be responsible for the death of your last two working brain cells. I know a chimp who could do this job better than you, face. He's more articulate, too. Dude, no way! Next time, send the chimp, cause me wanna see. I was really hoping to get to talk to the booty lady with the ransom. I wanna see their interaction. <laughs> How does it feel to know this is your peak? Dude, quit harshing my buzz. You sound like my mom. Nah, your mom sounds like this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, geez. Ransom. I knew that was coming. Ransom. Oh, yeah. Ransom. Want to hear a joke? What do your mom and my clown car have in common? Dude, no. Me and 20 other clowns. <laughs> Dude, stop. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbon. Okay, so we probably we give his wallet to him uh, and he can trade it to Willie. Let's see. Want a free wallet? It just reminding me of how awful my life is now. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can. Huh, it's an official ransom the clown wallet. All right, let's see here. Uh... Should work. Move. Go on. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I could use a clean wallet, thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? This isn't mod on the wallet. It looks more like a blood stain. There's nothing in... Huh? Right. Main Street. So... This is the blood report I've been waiting for. Let's see, uh, we got bloody wallet, corpse blood. Uh, the blood in the wallet matches the body's blood. Accuracy 100%, of course. Error rate zero. We see how tough the Dolores. Digging, he's still digging. Excuse me, sir, may I ask what you are doing? I'm just digging, mostly holes. <laughs> and then I put it up again, all neat and tidy. He digs a hole. He fills the hole. He fills and digs a digging. hole. Digging! Digging! 
Digging. Digging. Better ring the doorbell. Hello? How can I help you? Pick a Federal nest. agent. You kids doing drugs in here. <laughs> uh, what are you helping the body by the river? Oh, one of the great graphic adventure games. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, <gasps> yes. if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Digger! Digger. <laughs> all right, we got all of them now. We got the uh, Ray. Ray. Ransom, Dolores, Franklin. Franklin's still in the same spot. Of course he is. Dust. Get that, get that dust. It's my speck of dust. My speck of dust. Ah. Find out what happened to Dad. That's Franklin. Okay. Nor click web more. Why do they go click dust? Still. <sighs> Freaking dust. What's up with that? Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Dolores, Chucky. if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Leave Chucky alone. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. It's good to see you again, sis. It's been too long. And whose fault is that, sweetie? I'm certainly not the one who abandoned the family in their hour of need. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. I want to kill you to help out a little. So Uncle Chuck really hated me. You know anything about Dad's disappearance? I think we're done. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a, you know what, a game developer. Oh shh! Sh sh oh, that's the curse of the whole house to hear. 
Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Oops. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. <laughs> All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Okay, so we need to call a lawyer, apparently. And if I remember right, uh, I think Ransom has a, uh, has a business card, right? For a lawyer. Can of non trademark infringing poopsie. Mm, poopsie. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing in. There's nothing in. There's nothing inside. Still nothing inside. It's big dust. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Got a poopsie though. Poopsie. Okay, that's her room. These specks of dust. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 6 It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Right. I wanted to hit a Chuck's old room though. See if we can finally pick up some of that stuff that was in there. Digging! What are you digging here for? Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Ah. Uh. Diggin! Okay then. Diggin! Diggin! Oh, okay. Have a good time then. I... Okay. Diggin in the. Oh, excuse me. Oh, like this. Here it feels go. lonely without Uncle Chuck around. The journal. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Let's see. I'll start this journal to keep a record of my progress. Future historians might find it interesting. I feel I'm on the verge of something great. Something greater than making pillows, if that's possible. Yes, yeah, just as I predicted. My new Tron tube is amazing. It's giving me an idea I need to explore. Yes, this is working out well, better than I had hoped. I just need to make sure the uh, solder connections are good and I'll be able to move to the next phase. Uh, I think I've cracked the secret of AI. It's quite complex, but this uh, new Tron tube turns into, turns into child's play. 
The first step is to automate some of the factory machines. This should increase pillow production by 700%, but the profits will be endless. I've automated most of the factory machines. Not only is production increased by 704%, I'm saving a lot of money by laying off all the workers. I still need to keep Mr. Reyes on as security guard until the security robots are free. anything to do with Agent Reyes? A family member or something? Because, you know, at the beginning of the game, uh, Agent Reyes said that this, that murder would be a good cover as to why he's here. Then he is in, he is in, uh, curious about the factory fire, so. Oh. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, new SR-01 security robots are working. I've hidden a program manual in the mansion library. There's one flaw in the design I need to fix. I've added a to-do to the code. Uh, this AI is better than I expected. The machines can almost think on their own. The Tron tubes are the secret. Transistors are a dead-end technology. I could win a Nobel Prize for this, but I need to keep it a secret. It's too profitable to share. Franklin is good with the book, but I wish he'd keep his ideals to himself. I'm increasing the speed of the neural tube network for the Tron AI. It's amazing. Just installed Tron machines in the corners and sheriff's offices. They have been uh, perfect in identifying petty crimes. These revolutionized law enforcement and perfected. I fired a corner, but it might look odd if then we didn't have one, so I made a plan. More on that later. Okay, so he fired a corner, so I guess now the... I guess the sheriff, he's the sheriff, the coroner, the... Uh, a hotel manager. <laughs> See the pillow factory in the town's trial machines are talk of the country. The rich and famous are flocking here and I've been neglecting my inventions in favor of too many parties at the mansion mansion. Yes, mansion mansion. Dolores is such a bright girl. I showed her how to solder tubes this afternoon. She took to it like a true Edmund. Let's see bright things in her future. I really need to take a break from socializing and tend to the factory trial machines. Mr. Reyes has warned me about some strange behavior from the smarter AI. How do you look into that? I don't see a problem with the AI. Mr. Reyes must be mistaken or paranoid about his job and making things up. I've increased the neural tube network yet again. I had an interesting conversation with the main factory AI. He has some interesting ideals. I've become distracted with this text adventure I downloaded from the uh, BBS last night. <laughs> it's got me thinking about AI and games. I have a few ideas I need to explore. Willie's dead to me. I'll make him pay for what he's done. It was my girl, not his. I guess that's Willie the Drunk. Uh, Willie's watch business is no more. Yep, it's Willie the Drunk. I'll have my AI take care of his bank account. Damn. This text adventure is really interesting. Using my AI, I might be able to sim uh, simulate a little world in here. Let me get to work. I don't know what happened. One of the AIs must have come off the grid. Uh, a small fire started on the floor, two in the pillow, and the went up in the flash. The AI was supposed to be controlling the fire suppression, but I had most of the Tron tubes working on my text adventure simulation. I went out to the factory today. It's been burnt to the ground. Mr. Reyes was killed trying to shut everything down. The guard bots thought he was in the intruder and eliminated him. I need to think. I think I can change the time clock so it looks like Mr. Reyes didn't clock or didn't check in, but should divert suspicion, Mr. Reyes will take the fall, but my AI won't be under scrutiny. It's too valuable to be shut down, it might be more than valuable. Back in the factory trying to clean up, most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. The good news is mostly complex systems were hard at work stimulating my text adventure world and were unaffected. Uh, I'm going to move them into the basement. The main AI agrees to my plan to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. They have a kid, so uh, Mrs. Reyes will be happy with some money and to move away. It's the least I, last uh, I'll see of them. Well, that, yeah, I mean that. Yeah, they have a kid. Huh. I need to redouble my efforts on the main trial machine. I think that's the key to AI and simulation. The loss of factory seems to have affected the town. A few businesses have gone under, and thankfully, there are fewer parties. Uh, I can finally spend more time working. Yep. 
Hold on a second. Yeah, I think it was a second. This year, 1138. 1138? Where do I know that number from? Oh, it's from that stupid space movie Dolores can't stop quoting. I've neglected my journal for a while. Dolores is growing up, despite having a went for her father. I'm glad she has taken the electronics and computers. She might be the key to the pillow factory's reverse. So, uh, yeah, 11... 38. Okay. Yeah, I'll do more and more. Here we go. Uh, I can't believe Franklin wants to make stuffed animals in a pillow factory. What an embarrassment that would be. Plus, I can't have the factory restart now. i will screw up my research. I have to deal with them. He's easily distracted with the county. I'll have him redo the books. Uh, Dolores is my pride and joy. I might be able to let her in on the secret. I need her to take over the pillow factory. She'll be overjoyed. Dolores seems to be interested in making games. This is perfect. I need to show her my text adventure, but I don't think it's ready yet. The world simulation is getting good. He's out of my will! Hmm. Dolores has turned on us. He's taking a job at a game company far from the Timberweed Park. I need to discuss this with the AI. Uh, maybe I was a little hasty with the lore. At least she's making games. There might be hope. The AI says I need to forget about her. The AI makes a lot of sense. I think I discovered something amazing. I need to investigate this further. It can't be true. Or can it? A lot of things would make sense if it were. I'm on the last page of this journal. I need to get a new one. So much to write down. This is truly amazing. Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Let's see. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Open it. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. It's a spare AT25 Arrestron tube. Very rare. Hard to find. You get it now. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Now call, call a lawyer. All right. Just have to keep going. It's, uh, where's a phone at? The one in her room. Uh. I think there's one here. Yep. Let's see that. Go here. It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Brent Legal Bailiwick. problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He Seven seven. Eh, eh, eh. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon eighty seven. Try me later. Yep, yep. All right. Yeah. That's all I can do. And that's all we can do for tonight. That's what we're going to call it for tonight, guys. We'll pick up here 
same spot tomorrow on that. Made a, made a lot of good progress to that. Yeah. There's so much. Oh, let me look at all that. Oh, got to eh. read all that. That's crazy. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. As always, I appreciate it. So until tomorrow night, I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, depending on where you're at. 